Okay, we've got a question about when we would use a set reset. In this case, we're going to use it for the overloads. Uh, if you have a system working with overload, it goes into overload condition. A lot of times, operators may turn around and push the reset button, get it going again. Push the reset button, get it going again. The resets will will reset faster than what the motor will cool down. So they could end up burning up the motor. In other companies, when you have a overload condition, you'll want to document the fact that what caused the condition hasn't been cleared. Supervisor will come in and verify all of that. And so in that case, you'll come in with a key switch. Overload's been reset. The key switch will clear the overload. So you can use a set relay to set the overload condition and then the key switch to come in and clear the overload condition. Any other questions? If that's a, on the set coil and the reset coil, you have a little light word put onto it. Is that because that's a light indicator that shows that that coil is activated? On the coil itself, on the PLC, the light will turn on and turn off. Oh. The Q1 light on the PLC will turn on and turn off to let you know that either that coil is on or off. Okay. okay? And in this case here, we're using that output to drive either the red light coil or the green light coil. Okay. Okay. What other questions? So we're not supposed to really hook up the green light. The green light's supposed to be for. No. The, yeah. the this is this is just an example for your example material. I'm not going to do your lab for you. No, no. But I mean uh, yeah, the. The I'm green just, light's supposed to be. I'm just doing a generic yeah. example here, not specific to your lab. Exactly. Okay. So we have to do a regular reverse, reverse motor control and then integrate this. Correct. Into you it. integrate this concept into your lab for the overloads. Okay. Okay. Just reset set. Just 